Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am, first of all, let's address the elephant in the room. I am back in my house. Yes, finally back in my house. Um, it is crazy. Like there's boxes everywhere. So we don't have our recording space or our sewing room back yet. I'll show you guys next week what the sewing room currently looks like. Um, it's absolutely crazy. And we're also going to do a giveaway next week, a sewing machine giveaway next week. So I hope you guys are excited about that. Um, as some of you guys are joining, I see a few people joining now, um, but you don't want to miss that. It's not a live event. It's just a video. So you guys will be able to watch that and enter to win. But um, today we wanted to come by and, um, first of all, if you are watching live, definitely let me know in the comments where you're watching from so we can acknowledge you and where you're watching from. And also we just wanted to say a big, big thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making Next Top Upcycler go so amazingly so so well um it was because of you guys i see let's see flishy brawn i probably said that wrong <laughs> but thank you for joining us this morning i try to keep it at the same time even though it's early i know it's early for you guys oh and the other thing i wanted to say is that you may hear some worker noises because we are still getting work done um at the house um we have candy tanger from portland sunny day hi you guys thank you for joining us um yeah so you might hear some worker sounds in the background they're working outside fixing a fence so um yeah all from all of the work that we got done the fence was kind of trash so <laughs> um it needed to get fixed um hey shauna from chicago uh yeah so let's see tanned 119 Oh, I actually did say it right. Okay. Oh, sunny day is in Houston, Texas. So we're right here in Houston. Uh, it's not too hot yet, but it's getting there. Let's see. Hi from Norway. Wow. California. DMV. Oh, that's real close. Let's see. And thank you. Happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers. Thank you for saying that because I would have forgotten. I'm almost forgetting that it's Mother's Day, but I have a living mother, so I don't want to forget that. Um, make sure, <laughs> make sure I remember that. Um, wow, Ecuador, you guys are really joining. It. Thank you guys so much because I didn't have a screen to let you guys know that it was coming. I just told you last week and you guys are joining. And I'm so appreciative um, that you're here. So, I want to introduce all the way from India. Wow. Germany. Oh my gosh. Edmonton. You guys are just the absolute, absolute best. Like I've said so many times before, this is the best community on YouTube, on all of the internet, period, period. <laughs> um, so I want to bring Aldede on so you guys can get a chance to ask her questions and ask both of us questions about Next Top Upcycler. We're going to talk about what we foresee in the future, get you guys suggestions for next time. Um, I'm absolutely looking forward to that, getting you guys suggestions. What do you suggest we do um, to just keep it fresh, keep it new for next time? So we have somebody from Florida, North Carolina, Jamaica. Thank you guys um, so much. So we're going to let Aldede come in. She's been waiting patiently to see you guys. So here she is, all smiles. Hello, good morning to everyone. So, as you guys know, Aldeve is the, the next top upcycler for season one. And she did, <laughs> she did such an amazing job with style, with grace, as all the contestants did, um, an amazing job. And just the best, I want to say, character um of of any show that i've ever seen so i'm just so appreciative so grateful for that and um if you guys have questions for her put them in the comments and we'll start asking her questions but i do have a question for her right off the bat and i want to know mm -hmm. like what has people's reaction like on your social media what have been people's reactions to you okay well first of all uh, sorry if I stubborn. The editor is, is not here to save me <laughs> when I'm talking. Uh, so, well, for 
to answer your question, the um, rece la receptividad, the, the answer to my family, from my family and my friends, me every day, <laughs> even Sunday and yesterday, uh, a digital newspaper that is called El Pitazo, write an article about that program and um, because I won and I'm from Venezuela and that uh, newspaper is from Venezuela um, was very exciting and even my parents like send it to all the family members <laughs> that's and so nice the same like, like the same the same um, love and the same support that they that all my <laughs> all my family has given me from the start. That is awesome. And your family definitely rallied behind you. They created a voting campaign, just like one of yeah. the big shows like um, uh, American Idol or something like that. They created a voting campaign, and I just love to see it, um, the support. They only like, like, like the whistles and the speakers to, to say that they voted. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. So we actually have a suggestion. I'm going to add it to the screen. Bella J said, how about a quick, whatever you got must create the weirdest fashion ever. So like for next season, you know, like people just create the weirdest thing they can come up with. So <laughs> let us know what you guys think about that. Yeah, I, I was wondering I if the, the second season is going to be uh, focused on a material like this one was jeans. Now the second one is going to be like teachers or or it focuses on other subjects. Yeah, it's going to focus on another um, type of clothing. So it could be men's dress shirts, it could be t-shirts, it could be sportswear, um, it could be, you know, mm. whatever. So... All right, so some Goji Berry, which is Hillary, she wants to know, are you self-taught or did you learn to sew from someone? Well, um, it, nobody from my family sew, so it's really particular because I didn't sew like someone that sew. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. But, but when I wanted, well, all started, when I was in high school, I wanted a skirt. I saw a feather skirt and I was like, I'm going to make it. So uh, YouTube was a, a great teacher for me uh, in the beginning. I suggested if you want to sew something today and finish it today from, from that instant gratification, I suggested um, circle skirts. Circle skirts, there are so many tutorials uh, you can use even sheets from your bed <laughs> that you don't use, um, and it's, it's, it gives you like that step by step that you have to learn uh, at first. And uh, well, that was my beginning, and then I I did a, like a course like the basic of sewing and pattern making. Uh, that was like seven years ago but I abandoned it and returned to that last year that's awesome that's awesome so you really truly are self-taught and, and it's a true testament to the fact that anybody can learn and you can learn from YouTube taking those steps so I think that that's absolutely amazing um let's see someone says that it was absolutely amazing watching you, Aldede, and the other contestants. Um, let me see. What else? All right. Here's another Yeah, question. the other contestants were, were I, I, I learned so much from each one yeah. of them. Uh, the use of Photoshop from Peter, <laughs> I was like, that's organization. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. And yeah, really honestly, from each one of you, it's something that I'm going to take with me into my up cycles. Um, even from you learning 
just putting the clothes on you and manipulating it actually yeah, on yeah, your yeah. body. I absolutely love that about your process. So um, yeah, from e each person and um, just with uh, Jess, with Peter and with um, Jimena, the way, just the professionalism that they do, like they're yeah, really- Yeah, that mindset of design. Yeah, really detailed, really detailed. And I, I just, that's something I really want to, I aspire to be more like that. Even the, I aspire to be as calm as Valerie. As the, let it flow. Yes, yes, <laughs> so <can> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. All right, so Esther wants to know, what are you going to do in the future with this title of Next, Next Top Upcycler? Well, um, well, with this title and and that prize that that gives me the push to to build the. Uh oh. Did we lose her? Let's see. All right, so we're going to. She's paused a little bit. I don't know if she's paused for you guys but she's paused on my end. So um, let's see. We're going to add this one. And I won't say this right. Ira, please forgive me if I said that wrong. And she says, I think next season should be about refashioning all the work from home sweatpants. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I'm sure people have plenty of sweatpants. Although, like, will people be willing to give up their sweatpants? You know, like people were willing to give up their jeans because jeans were like super, uh, jeans were like super, like people don't want to wear them because we're all home and nobody wants to be comfortable. But jeans, you know, I mean, but sweatpants, I don't know. Are you guys willing to give up your sweatpants? <laughs> I guess that's a question for the group. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What else? We're going through the comments. Oh my gosh, this is a good one from uh, Melody. She says, I think we should use ugly prom and bridesmaids dresses. <laughs> that would be an awesome challenge. That would be an absolutely amazing challenge. Okay, so we have Aldele back. Let's add her back. All right, go ahead. Oh, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> we understand. Uh, I don't know if you could listen my answer. No, we where, didn't hear you. Uh, no, nothing. Okay. Uh, I I said that I wanted to take advantage of this title and this prize to finally build the brand that I wanted to always build, uh, transforming clothes not only for me, uh, to to someone else that wanted to. Uh, transform the clothing and at the same time like teaching the importance of not be over the upper consumption that you you don't have to buy or feeling like you the pressure to buy things trendy to be trendy and you have the power to transform them and be conscious to the environment at the same time so yeah exactly uh oh she paused again um, let's see. All right. So we're going to ask her this question when she comes back. Let's see if we have any other suggestions. Okay. So Bella J says, no, that wasn't, uh, oh yeah. She was well, saying I think that this is perfect. Oh, there she is. Go ahead. Okay. So <laughs> Go ahead. We lost you for a second, but we got you back. Okay. Uh, the the final thing that I wanted to say is to present people that option, and mm -hmm. they I um, they don't have to feel the pressure that to be trendy you have to spend money, or you don't you you can never be trendy. So uh, I feel honored to this for this market or my circle of or. Um, people to present that option and be helpful to like sew it for them <laughs> all right let's see i'm trying to get my camera there we go 
Now we're yeah. back, right? All right. So, um, so have you gotten orders? Like, are people, are your family and friends, like people starting to yes. make orders with you? Yes, but I have to, I like organize the the part that I think that the part that the the clients don't see, like the structure internally for me, like my time management and the the list of orders that I have from friends even uh, some friends like send me pictures okay what what do i do to this and i'm like okay let me let me assist you there but take give me a chance give me a time for me to organize my mind my life <laughs> to to satisfy and and people be happy for the product that i want to give them with that surgery the professional finish is coming. <laughs> yes, it's coming. It's coming. Matter of fact, I am going to send out everything today. So I hope you're excited. <laughs> so someone wants to know, I think that's Frank's. I probably said it wrong. Um, she wants to know, Aldede, what are you working on now? Or have you taken a little sewing break? Well, Francinus, Fra Francinus, um, I, I challenge myself to sew every week. I don't have that project this week, but as soon as I close <laughs> this, I'm going to uh, search my my box my box of scraps uh, to the this week project because I figure that doing this. Uh, it pushed me to be creative and and limited my my resource. It pushed me to be like what I'm going to do with this tiny fabric. <laughs> I'm not going out to buy something because I I have I have a box of projects that I haven't started because I I go to the thrift shop shop and I'm like oh this project I I <laughs> like that mean that. Uh, when you're you're starting a project, but you see, <laughs> and you don't finish because you see another garment, I'm like, oh, you want me? I want you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And if you guys don't follow Aldebe on um, Instagram, she is killing it on Instagram. She do normally does an upcycle a week. Um, so yeah, yeah, she has been rocking it ever since the challenge started, not just since she won, ever since the challenge started, she has committed herself to doing one a week and it is absolutely amazing. Um, and everyone is saying that they would give up their sweatpants. So, oh, <laughs> Holly said, no, not her. I, I wouldn't give mine up either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. <laughs> So here's the suggestion. Oh, I got to take that one away. How do I do that? <laughs> All right. You guys can okay. tell that I am not like used to going live. Both me and out there, they were, you know, emailing and we were both like, we're super nervous about this, but we're going to do it anyway. Right. Be afraid and do it yeah. anyway. I'm back to my wall so I can just. There's the first time for everything. <laughs> so I thought this one was funny. Candy said next season, add pockets to dresses, please. <laughs> Is any other way to make a dress if it's not with, with pockets? Exactly. It's got to have pockets. All right. Let's see. Um, what else do we have? Everybody's saying men's dress shirts. Men's dress shirts. That's a good option. Mm. So we have, we're not going to tell everybody what it is. But we do have okay. a secret oh, okay. challenge going on right now that all the contestants are participating in. And I'm super excited for you guys to see it at the beginning of next season um, in early October, I believe. I haven't think, I haven't think about it for my challenge, so okay. great reminder. <laughs> okay, so that's why that was going to be my question. Have you thought about uh, what you're going to do for your challenge? I kind of thought because the inspiration piece that I got, it was like perfect because it's so many, so many things to do inspired by them, uh, other person um, garments. So 
I I have kind of no idea, but if you could see on that episode, my ideas transform in a matter of minutes. So, yes. So I I think I'm going to uh, draw like a before and after of the um, the original idea and the end of that idea. That's awesome. Um, oh, and someone says to share your Instagram. Her Instagram is Aldea de Sanchez. So it's A L D E I D E Sanchez. S A N C C H E Z. And yeah, by the, the way, part of my name is the username is always available. So yeah. Aldea de Sanchez. Exactly. <laughs> and um, hey, we got a new member. Hey, Alina. Alina Allen, thank you for joining. Um, what was I going to say? Um, yes, definitely. Hi, I, I, I wanted to ask you, what about um, uh, Next Stop Up Cycler Jr.? Because the the like the comments were on fire that day when you announced it. Yes. So um, she's actually in the, the chat right now. Holly's daughter. So Holly's in my, I mean, not Holly, Melody. Melody is in my um, class, my Upcycle Challenge class, and her daughter, uh, Melody, how old is your daughter? I think she said eight, but I could be wrong. I don't like to uh, mess up kids' age, especially girls. They're like, no, 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 I'm nine, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, I believe that she said she's eight, but she brought her sketches to class, and she was ready, ready. So that, like, it was like a light bulb, like, we should do Upcycle Junior. So the problem, there's only one issue, and it's that uh, right now, YouTube is not very favorable about kids' content. So, <laughs> kids content. so yeah. Um, yeah, it wouldn't be able to have comments. And that means or ads, would, right? Huh? Or ads, right? Right. Either or, right or um. ads. Okay, she just turned eight. I got it right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, her daughter's name is Nikki, and yeah, Nikki came to class and she was ready. So I'm I'm trying to figure that out because in order to offer a good prize for the show, and I absolutely always want to offer. Um, a good prize for the show, I would have to make AdSense right on the yeah. videos. And so doing it on Facebook would be, I could do that. However, uh, <laughs> yes, thank you, Alina. Um, and I hope I said your name right. Um, in order to do that, I could do it on Facebook, but Facebook, you know, I wouldn't really make the money that I would need in order to offer, you know, a decent prize. So, um, yeah, we're going to tr try to figure it out. I have a partner manager with YouTube, so I am going to talk to her and see what we can do. And the other thing is yeah. that I also, I still have the channel Blueprint DIY Kids, and I haven't done anything on that channel for years. I didn't know that. Yeah. You have another channel. I'm yeah, I have another channel. I haven't done anything on there for years. Um because it was a channel where we took clothes and made them into doll clothes, me and my daughter. And so, um, yeah, we haven't, she's over that stage of her life. She's like, like well past it. <laughs> um, and so we haven't done anything on that channel, but that may be an opportunity for something to do on that channel. And it wouldn't mess up like my the, the algorithm wouldn't, you know, yeah. mess mm -hmm. me up. So messed we, up. Right. Mm -hmm. And then we could potentially get sponsors. So instead of trying to make the money through AdSense, we could go directly to um, some sewing companies and different things like that mm -hmm. and get the sponsors for the prize. And then I wouldn't have to worry about the AdSense or the comments. Although I know you guys love, love, love to comment. So, you know, it, you know, that's hard, but we're going to figure it out because that is just the cutest idea ever, I think. Yeah, it has so much potential. I remember when I was a kid, Disney Channel had like an uh, art attack program. And kids, I remember that did some cool things. So I, I can't imagine what they're going to do with sewing and a challenge so specific. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just amazing. And the thing about it is that oftentimes kids aren't, 
um, limited, like because their experiences yeah. are limited, their uh, yeah. creativity is bigger. And they think outside the box more easily than we do as adults because we have been conditioned to think a certain way and we have to push ourselves to go out. But they're out there, exactly. you know? <laughs> yeah, they don't have like the barriers of what we lived or like before judging or something. Exactly. And they think more things are possible. Even things that are may not be possible. They think they're possible. So then so they think. try it and they get farther than what we would have thought would be possible. And so, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. My daughter will not be on it. Um, hopefully I can get her to host it with me. <laughs> exactly. I was thinking about that. Like your mini version of yeah. that. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully I can get her to host it with me. But she asked me the other day, um, she saw my <laughs> wall of jeans and she was like, oh, I need, you know, your um, your amount of jeans. And I said, well, those are all my upcycle jeans. She said, well, can you upcycle me some jeans? And I'm like, you know how to sew. She's like, do I really? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> like you could do it yourself but she's just she's into writing now she's a writer so okay yeah, yeah. mom give me that, that. oh that's it's hilarious power. look look power. <laughs> tony tony says she can enter again as a kid <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious i love it i absolutely love it so you guys let me know, do you know any kids? I know Valerie's daughters were super interested in that. Um, so yeah, does anybody else know any mini upcyclers? I don't know any. I have to like open my, my eyes because I, I know that, that it has to be. Yes. Yes, she said, oh, okay, so people are giving suggestions um, for sponsors that we could use for the kids, and that would be amazing, absolutely amazing to get the sponsors, then we wouldn't have to worry about um, that all the prizes could just go directly to the kids. What do you think about the Upcycle Garment as a business in India? Like for a sponsor? Um, I'm not sure. Let me see. This is Palak. He said, what do you think about the upcycle garments as a... Oh, maybe... The... I, I think the, the question is like the possible, the possibility of yeah, having a business. So. I think so. I think that that's possible anywhere. Um, yeah, I, I think so too. I, I, I think that everyone does it, but they don't have the name to it, like, so, uh, I mean, like, in our experience, we are always upcycling, yeah. but we didn't know that that word existed. So if you give that concept to a business, you could, uh, uh, God, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do that here <laughs> now. So I think every, everywhere, everyone, you, you have to like teach them, what upcycling means and that gives purpose and that gives another layer of the, the quality and the purpose of that product. I think that is really valuable. And even like a, that, that meaning that it has sells as well. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, Didi, I see you. Um, so people were asking what ages like what do you guys think because like honestly of course i couldn't have an eight-year-old competing against an 18 year old um that wouldn't be fair so i think no. that it would be you know from that range of like before you're a teenager like you know from like eight to eight to 13 or eight to 12 or right in that range um because like when you're above 13, that's a different show. I could actually, if we did like uh, Next Type Upcycler Junior and we did 13 mm -hmm. to um, thirteen to maybe 17. 17. Yeah, mm -hmm. that age group, 
I, we could do with comments because they're above 13 and they can actually have a YouTube channel. And so that's a different, those are two different age groups. So below 13, I would have to do that on the kids channel and get sponsors above 13. I'm glad you guys brought that up. I didn't think about that above 13. We could do it actually on blueprint DIY. So, um, that's something to think about. Definitely. Yeah. From a to 12 sounds like a uh, fair. Yeah. And I just think that age is so cute. Like they're just <laughs> so they're full of personality um and yeah that age is just so cute so cute okay so valerie said she taught sewing classes for eight to twelve and that's a good age oh. range valerie you do everything yes I admire everything. You. <laughs> um let me say we made it to eight, uh 9 30 so quickly like honestly yeah <laughs> 10 30 yeah all right, so if anybody has any last uh, questions, go ahead and put them in the comments before we get off. But I um, I just am overjoyed, overwhelmed. Yes, next top upcycle teen edition. So, yeah, it would be teens teen that we could do on my channel um, and then 8 to 12 on the kids' channel. And maybe I'll be crazy enough to do them simultaneously. No, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I move again. No, I can't move. I can't move <laughs> again. Like I cannot. So this is the thing about the moving. Yeah. So I found out after I contacted everybody for next top upcycler, set the date. That's when I found out that we needed to move. And so, you know, I had to make a big leap, a big leap of faith and just say, OK, hey, we're going to do both at the same time. And so it worked out. I'm so grateful that I did it. But that was just like the craziest thing, the craziest thing I've ever done on my channel. But, um, yeah, I am so, so glad that we did it. Um, but, yeah, I won't be moving again. But with the Next Top Upcycler kids, then it would definitely be something. Uh oh. It would definitely be something that we could do. It would definitely be something that we could do in the in between time. Um, in between, I'm not saying now, but <laughs> in between <laughs> seasons. So, like for instance, so you know how like, um, what am I thinking? Project Runway, and then they have the All Stars, and it doesn't, you know, it happens like one will happen, and then the other one will happen in between. So that's what I'm thinking that maybe um, next up cycler junior will happen, you know, in between, but not, not until October. We're going to get the next season of next up cycler out first before we. Oh, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel so excited that in October we are to, we have to retomar, like go to Saturday again. We are traditional. <laughs> A live yeah present and see the episode <laughs> all right somebody wants to know let's see we have a question how necessary is an embroidery machine needed for upcycling and which would you recommend for beginners um i don't i, I don't, don't use necessarily don't an embroidery so when you say embroidery <laughs> bleh, embroidery machine do you mean like a sewing machine that embroiders or do you mean like the the uh, serger because like some of my machines can embroider but I never use that function like almost never for me yeah. the biggest deal is how many layers can it sew through just because I am nuts about sewing denim and different things like that but if you only do t-shirts and men's dress shirts you don't even need to think about that pretty much any machine will work um so you yeah, that, that's not like a barrier to start up cycling. You have to a straight stitch, zigzag stitch, that's it. Yeah. Matter of fact, you started out there, you started on like one of those little toy machines, right? Yeah. Yeah, like those toys, <laughs> sewing machines. And she did the work from the skirt that I, I told you guys earlier. So. A straight and that doesn't have like a zigzag stitch even so exactly straight stitch only 
Exactly. So it doesn't take much. And there are some of you guys out there that are doing upcycling with by hand. I don't know how you do it. You are my heroes, but there are some of you guys that are doing it. So, um, wow. yeah, you guys are. I don't have the patience. Patience, yeah. I think that's essential. More than an embroidery machine, like patience, patience to, to start up cycling. Yeah, yeah, which I'm still lacking, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so someone wants to, a recommendation for a lightweight sewing machine that can sew through denim. Um, so when you say lightweight, I'm assume well, Okay, we have like a no heavy duty. Yeah, so no heavy duty. Um, the Brother CS six thousand I, which is what Jess had, if you watched her episode, um, and she it came with a walking foot, I believe, or she got a walking foot for it. She was sewing through denim, just great, like absolutely amazing. Um, let's see, and then if you're looking for something like smaller than that. I do have a video. Um, if you put your comment actually in the comments of this video, I'll send you the link to that video of the smaller uh, sewing machines that I've reviewed. And you can look at that and see if you think that that will do it. Because I know some people have told me that they really just don't have the space and they can't lift. They can't lift a full sewing machine. Oh. And so, um, yeah, they have to do those. But yeah, you got stitching. Didi, you stitching, hand stitching? Mm-mm. Oh, <laughs> yes. My, my fingers hurt even thinking about that. Yeah. So some, someone is already suggest, suggesting an all-stars. Next up, okay, <laughs> all-stars. So... At, like next year or no like uh finale of next year it knows like years from now after we have enough oh, winners okay. yeah after we have enough winners but yes that's an awesome idea so i'm ashamed brother pq 1500 so someone um made that suggestion and um they love it so yeah i'm I am not being paid by brother. I promise you, brother needs to pay me some good money. <laughs> you have to write an uh, email. And it, you know that next stop of cycling in October? Well, <laughs> exactly. And I am going to, and I'm definitely going to. But I, um, I have found that pretty much I haven't been too disappointed with the when you, when you're talking about newer machines. Now we're not talking about those old vintage machines. When you're talking about new machines, um, the brother line of machines haven't really failed me too much. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so we're just talking. We're actually about to get off, but we've just been talking to Aldede and just hearing her words of wisdom and getting where she is now and um, where she's hoping to go. She's already getting orders for people, you know, to upcycle people's clothes, which is amazing. I love, love, love to hear that. And, you know, honestly, I would have wanted, like, I can't do it with this system, but I really wanted to have all the contestants on live because I really want to know. And if any of the contestants are watching, put it in the comments, like, have anybody, I really want to know, have anybody approached you about upcycling for them? That would be amazing to know. Uh, if just being on the show, because like oftentimes on these shows, um, even if you don't win, it allows people to see your style and they yeah. will approach you and um, want you to make something for them. So I hope that that's the case. Um, we can get all of you guys a nice little brand going. Yeah, I think that, well, I, I, I know that we have to go, but... I wanted to congratulate congratulate you. I don't know. I don't know if it is that. If yeah. You, yeah. Okay. <laughs> congratulate you. Congratulate you for this big, big project that as we speak, we know the potential that it has to all the other uh, uh, parallel worlds of kids, 
teens, uh, all stars, even, I don't know, if, if, if a garment that won in those many seasons got, <laughs> got one, um, could sell or something. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm sorry, I'm still looking at comments because you guys are bringing them in now. <laughs> um, oh, perfect. I, so Tony was saying, don't forget to also look at used machines. And that is definitely, mm. definitely Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. You can find used machines, slightly used machines, as a matter of fact. And I know in different places in the world, you guys have um other methods to find you sewing machines even i think tony went to a sewing machine shop and you could find you sewing machines there so um and i don't know where you find yours you you don't have to like you have you have to tell everyone that you want to sew so people are like uh like heads up to see a good a good bargain or even i don't use mine so take it and sell it i i i bought mine well my my dad give give my machine well seven years ago <laughs> so it was a it was like a place where it was like in, in promo, in promo uh -huh. so it was so open your eyes for those discounts are uh, they use a um, sewing machine is a great option i i know the the person that fixed my sewing machine that it broke <laughs> in the episode um ask the people that do that because they know people that are selling their sewing machines or uh, and they could assist you or assess yeah. they could give you um tips to know which machine suits you better for what you want to do. Yeah. And I love that suggestion about making sure that you tell everybody that you mm -hmm. want to sew, that you are, that you do so that you're looking for a machine. Because matter of fact, Gina said that in her episode that she, um, one of her friends was just like, okay, look outside. This was during the pandemic, look outside. And she left her a sewing machine on the front step. So it's it's one of those like things that. that um it can happen and it definitely if people know that you want to they'll definitely support you um in what you want to do so like i said if you guys missed it at the beginning of the episode next saturday's video i will be showing you guys the state of my sewing room before we you know put it back together and i'm super excited because it has a new layout um and i want you guys to see that but I am giving away sewing machines. Why? Because I have too many. So <laughs> <laughs> this is the opportunity. You have the answer now. Exactly. So I am, I will be giving away the Brother Strong and Tough um, computerized sewing machine. I will be giving away wow. the Singer Heavy Duty 4452. And I will be giving away the vintage sewing machine that I reviewed, that green one that I reviewed. So I hope you guys are super excited. Three sewing machine giveaways. Why? Because we are almost to 200K. We are almost, almost, almost there. Almost there. Yeah, so it. So make sure you guys, if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. Um, we are so, so close. And hopefully by next week. <laughs> hopefully I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch. <laughs> um hopefully well, we have week. we have to tell everyone to follow yes yes definitely subscribe subscribe and you guys uh just do me a favor and share one of my videos and i know we'll get there and we can do that and just a quick update guys for when i hit 100k last may it's been a year which is a crazy i did this upcycle for junior if anybody has been around that long sent it to paris and it's lost it's lost it's oof, it's gone so we're gonna do something we'll figure it out we'll figure it out things happen so <laughs> yeah you can't put a price on you really can't put a price on an upcycle and a gift so yeah 
But I do have footage of what I made. We just don't have him <laughs> in it. So yeah, we'll figure something out. We yeah, we'll figure something out. But I am so yeah. grateful that you guys joined us today. We will see you guys next week. And I see some other contestants. I see Peter um, in the comments. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining us. You guys are absolutely amazing. All of you guys are absolutely amazing for joining us. And um, I appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button. And definitely we have other videos for you right here. Follow Aldede, Aldede Sanchez on Instagram and see her weekly projects. And we will see you next time. Maybe we'll do more live videos. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye.